device here. This is the Vital Stream uh, wireless monitoring platform. And you'll see at the center of this device is our wearable hub, lightweight wearable hub that use, utilizes our patented pulse decomposition analysis technology, which we'll discuss, and a lightweight finger sensor that's a passive sensor that could be worn for five to seven days uh, continuously with one sensor. This sensor provides measurements that include continuous blood pressure, cardiac output, stroke volume, systemic vascular resistance. It has a fluid response timer, cardiac power, heart rate, respiration, and heart rate variability. And what's unique about this is that you can fit, calibrate, and monitor in less than a minute with this technology. So no complex questions to ask. The only thing you need to know for your patient, are they sitting or are they supine? And then hit start. It's modern technology for the modern challenges that you're facing today. This is a scalable system, which includes the ability to, to bring in other wireless sensors to include pulse ox, temp, ECG, and end tidal, all to our wearable hub, which then streams to our caretaker app, which you'll see here on the left side of the screen with my cursor. And that allows you to see real time data sets that are coming in from the finger and the additional sensors if needed. And then also it can beam wirelessly to our central monitoring station called the vital station, which is also an aggregator. It can aggregate up to 24 patients in viewing mode and up to 30 patients to aggregate to push the EMR in one connection. We also offer remote cloud portals. So for your ability to monitor a patient from anywhere in the world at any time or anywhere in the hospital at any time, simply from an internet access site, we can stream this to our, our cloud portal and you can see beat by beat monitoring of that patient as well as historical data sets. And of course we interface with other devices such as the Philips and other monitors. So real excited to be able to offer this type of lightweight wearable technology that is FDA cleared and we are plus or minus five millimeters of mercury to an A line, plus, plus or minus five to an A line. And then we're also standard equivalent to a SWAN GANS. Those are our two predicates that we're pushing for. Now it may sound too good to be true, but how does this work? This all works on our pulse decomposition analysis. This is our proprietary technology that looks at the waveform diff differently. And it's a physiological model versus what's commonly placed out there is a mathematical or linear model. Our physiological model is done by the fact that we're able to scan at the fingertip uh, 500 times a second, so 500 Hertz. And what we're able to do under that 500 Hertz scanning is isolate the individual central aortic pulses that give rise to the observed pulse shape that you see. So you'll see here in this circle, this is your standard waveform that you see from an arterial feed, which is typically a 25 or 50 Hertz uh, analog scan. What we're able to do at 500 Hertz is see the actual building blocks of that waveform. And we isolate the primary ejection pulse coming out of the left ventricle. And then we look at the reflective waves or the afterload waves coming from the renal and the iliac individually. And from these three different waves, we're able to calculate beat by beat blood pressure, arterial stiffness, as well as an advanced cardiac output formula, which isolates just the systolic ejection pulse in part of our formula and then factors and changes in arterial stiffness because most of the patients that we're working on are on vasopressors and the ability to reflect the changes in vascular tone is critical for accurate measurements. So since this is a central aortic measurement, what are some of the other benefits that are, allow us to be a wearable device? Since we're central aortic and we're taking all of our measurements off of these three pulses that we talked about as they arrive in the periphery, it eliminates the effects of hydrostatic pressure on the readings. So the only time you need to know where the device is in relation to the heart is under the initial 30 second calibration window. So once we're calibrated, the patient can be repositioned in the OR, typically from AP to Trendelenburg or reverse Trendelenburg, or when they're recovering in the ICU, the ability to sit up and do their incentive breathing, stand up next to the bed and have a wearable device that allows them to rapidly ambulate and leave the hospital faster ultimately. So again, with our pulse decomposition analysis, it allows us to continuously track vascular tone, central aortic pressures and advanced hemodynamics.